I've made countless electric skateboards for me, my friends, for other people, and they all usually have a few things in common. They all go 25 or more miles per hour top speed. They all have a range of 10 miles or more. Having an electric skateboard that can go fast, conquer those hills, and last for a really long time are usually the three main specs that everybody's looking for. And to get those qualities in a board, they're usually belt driven, fairly large, around 40 inches or so, and they're usually pretty heavy. But there's something to be said about small boards. Not every board requires the best specs of all time. They don't all need to go 25 miles an hour. They don't all need to go 10 miles. At some point, weight, size, convenience, that all trumps the top speed and the range. This build has been requested by you guys a ton in the comment section. You guys have been asking for it, so today I'm gonna make it. Today I'm conquering the electric penny board style skateboard, so yeah. Even if you already have an electric skateboard, odds are it's a full-size board, whether it's a boosted board, whether you built it. Most likely, it's a belt-driven board, uh, and it's large and it's heavy. But sometimes that's not the best option. A lot of times, I find myself around campus really wishing I had a smaller board. Bringing a 17-pound, 40-inch board uh, into my classes and up the stairs and through the halls, it kind of sucks. It's, you know, it's big, it's heavy, it's not the most convenient thing ever. So. A penny board to me sounded really fun, but I just never got around to building one. So that's today's goal, is to make a board that's a lot more portable and a lot more convenient than a traditional electric skateboard. And the best part about this build is it's really easy to do and you only need three things. A battery, an ESC, and the hub motors. So my battery of choice, I guess, could really get put into any electric skateboard, but I'm using a 10S 2P battery. I really like 10 cell batteries. They just seem like they're compatible with mostly all ESCs and power switches and motors and all that. That'll give me plenty of capacity as far as my range goes uh, and plenty of power so I get a little bit of a good speed. The ESC is one of the coolest parts. It's actually really easy, no programming required. Uh, it can handle two motors, so that's really great. And it comes with a remote controller already paired to the ESC so you save money not having to pay for a controller, another component, so it comes with all that combined. The controller actually has a high and low function uh, it also tells you what your battery percentage is of your battery right by looking at the controller. So that's nice to know. You don't even have to have a battery percentage indicator. It just says it right there on the controller. And for the motors, I'm using smaller 70 millimeter dual hub motors. They look really awesome and they're small enough so they don't look ridiculous on a penny board. That was my overall goal is to make the wheels and motor look like it's meant for a penny board, not putting 90 millimeter wheels on a penny board because that looks strange. So. These wheels look really good with the deck. And for the deck, I'm using a 24 inch penny style deck. It's all wood, mine happens to be blue, and it looks really small compared to a traditional 39, 40, 42 inch deck. So I'm really excited to see how that kind of turns out. Like I said, this build is really easy. All you have to do is plug everything together and attach it to your board somehow, and then you're done. It's, that's it. It's really easy, there's like three parts. So besides your electric skateboard parts, you're gonna need like the regular skateboard parts too. So I'm using eighth inch uh, riser pads and one inch deck hardware. And then of course you'll need some grip tape. And then that's it. Just some regular skateboard parts plus your electric skateboard parts, that's it. So just like any skateboard build, whether it's electric or not, you're going to need to attach your trucks and your wheels to your deck with the riser pads and the skate hardware. Keep in mind this set of hub motors, unlike the caliber trucks that we might be used to for the full size electric skateboard builds, the, the main bolt in the back, they usually face outwards. This set, they both face the back, the rear facing. So if you put them on like you would caliber trucks, you, you're gonna turn the opposite way you lean, so it's not rideable. So just keep that in mind if you find yourself going the wrong way. So after you get your trucks mounted to your deck, all you have to do is lay out all your components. You have a battery and an ESC, that's it. You just gotta kinda figure out where you want them to sit underneath your deck. And then you can start connecting the phase wires from your motor to your ESC. Keep in mind that later down the road, once you get everything powered up, if your motors are spinning the wrong way, take two wires from that motor and switch them and then it should be running the proper way. Last step is to connect your battery to your ESC using the XT60 connection. Uh, it's not really possible to uh, plug it in backwards, you don't have to worry about that, and uh, everything will be good to go. Once you've laid everything out and have it all connected up, turn your controller on, 
and your ESC will automatically power up. If it doesn't, uh, it's a smart ESC. This is another cool thing about this ESC is it will turn on automatically once it detects the movement of your back motors. So once your wheel starts spinning, the ESC recognizes that and it turns on automatically. You won't have to use a button or anything. Although this ESC does have a port to add your own button. I don't think it'd be really necessary if it turns on automatically with your wheels turning. So anyway, the option's there if you need it. And I know that seems like we didn't really do much, but that's literally it. Like the board is functional at this point. Um, so all you gotta do is find a container to put it all in and, uh, and you're done. So now I gotta try to design a, an enclosure and uh, do all that. So let me try to figure that out. So my thought is I, I really want to take a piece of uh, Kydex and then vacuum form it over a mold. Usually when I make my enclosures, I use a wooden mold, but I saw somebody on YouTube make one out of foam, wrap it in duct tape, and then they actually use theirs for a carbon fiber mold, but I still think it will work. Um, for the vacuum forming, we'll see. So basically I'm just going to cut this piece of styrofoam into the dimensions and shape I want, wrap it in duct tape, and we'll see how it goes. <sighs> okay, so this is what I came up with. This is the little enclosure. Uh, I probably could have made it a little slimmer, but that's okay. Um, it kind of looks like my other enclosures that I make, except it's just slimmer. Um, it's a little thinner than my, my originals. Um, but yeah, this is the final thing with all duct tape. It's not perfect, but I think it'll look a little better than uh, just a regular container, so. So basically the tape and the foam, uh, once we put in the vacuum former, it really took shape of all the ripples and bumps. So it's not perfect, but for what we're doing, just for a budget build, quick build, um, it'll work for what we need, so. So as you can see, the workspace is kind of a mess. Uh, I've done all the boring stuff. Uh, I wrapped everything in foam uh, to make sure uh, nothing gets shorted out or and also to protect it from the vibrations. Uh, I started drilling holes through the enclosure into my deck, fastened it on with some just traditional skate hardware and uh, made sure I connected everything up to the holes and added my charge port, connected my charge port back to my battery and uh, all that. So it's done. Here it is. Uh, I haven't added grip tape yet. And I probably should add a few more screws to the enclosure just to make sure it's on there pretty good. But uh, it's functional, so let's go try it out. So I know this works in theory, but just a theory. I'm not actually sure how these hub motors are going to perform. So hopefully uh, I'm not disappointed, but let's uh, find out. Whoa. Okay, that, that actually... Let's try the reverse function. It works. This thing moves so far. All right, I mean, it moves fast without anybody on it, but what if I'm standing on it? Let's find out. Yeah, all right. This thing cruises, hell yeah. Holy shit, this thing is actually like really cool. Plenty fast. I mean, you don't need 25 miles an hour. I mean, it, it could go that fast, I don't even know, but it's a small board, so it's not gonna be that stable at high speeds. But so far, this thing moves just fine for me. Wow, I'm actually really impressed right now. I'm really excited about it. <sighs> I'm glad, I just put all this work into it. I just didn't want it to suck, so I'm happy. Oh, this thing's cool. Oh man, I'm stoked. This is pretty cool. So that's about it. I am super impressed with how th this thing moves super fast, super easy, and really light. It's only 10 pounds versus my 15 and a half pound full size board. And I think what I love the most about it is the fact that it's so short that I can fully extend my arm out without it dragging on the ground, which makes it feel that much lighter because I don't have to have my arm like this. Uh, I don't really like to hold it against my side uh, with the grip tape because it ruins my clothes. So I don't, you know, I'm not about that. But uh, if you guys decide to build this board, it's a uh, very budget build, very cheap. So if you guys need any parts, I have all the links to everything I used in the description. <sighs> so yeah, if you guys ever make this build or make any build, you should send them to me on Instagram. My, you should, all my links are in the description or Twitter or wherever. So if you have any questions, hit me up down below. I try to answer every single comment I get. So. Whew. 
That was a lot of talking. So that's it. Anyways, have a good rest of your day. If you're not subscribed already, we do a lot of electric skateboard related stuff and travel stuff and vlogs and all kinds of stuff on this channel. So if you haven't, join the Beard Fam. It's a good time. So, yep, bye.